Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, let us pray and praise for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah give us bless and mercy so we can attend this event without any trouble and healthy condition. Second, let us greet our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who had brought us in the path of light and left the darkness in this life. The Honorable Dr. Haji Basharuddin Toyib MPD, the Honorable All Teachers, and my beloved friends, welcome, welcome to, to English and ICT, ICT performance. performance. Nice to meet you all. My name is Shafa and this is my partner Sarah and we are here as MC to guide you all in this event and now my partner will read the rundown. Okay, first, salutation from Mr. Bashar. Second, storytelling. Third, speech. Fourth, news project. Fifth, IT tutorial presentation. Six, acoustic. Seven, design graphic project. Eight, Creative video, ninth English presentation, and the last one is singing performance. So now we're done with the round down, and we will continue to our first agenda. A salutation for from our headmaster, Mr. Bashar. The time is yours. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi, salam sejahtera untuk kita semua. Anak-anakku sekalian kelas 10 unggulan yang saya banggakan. Pertama, kita bersyukur kepada Allah Subhanahu wa taala, Tuhan yang Maha Kuasa. Bahwa pada hari ini kita semua dalam keadaan sehat walafiat Anak-anak sekalian kader bangsa yang saya banggakan Sebagaimana kita ketahui bahwa SMA Plus PGD Cibinong memiliki dua program Yaitu program kelas unggulan berwawasan internasional dan kelas reguler Kelas unggulan berwawasan internasional ini merupakan konsep alternatif dari RSBI yang digulikan oleh pemerintah pada waktu yang lalu. Kemudian RSBI selanjutnya dibubarkan dan kelas unggulan berwawasan internasional yang dimiliki SMA Plus Pegri Cibinong sekarang ini banyak diadopsi oleh kalangan SMA yang ada di tanah air kita ini. Anak sekalian yang saya banggakan, kalian patut bersyukur pada Tuhan yang Maha Kuasa bahwa kalian adalah terlahirkan menjadi siswa yang memiliki keunggulan. Kalian juga harus bangga masuk menjadi siswa kelas unggulan ini melalui Testing melalui ujian yang cukup berat. Oleh karena itu, anak-anak sekalian, kalian harus menunjukkan bahwa kalian patut dan betul memiliki keunggulan dari yang lainnya. Karena kelas unggulan ini berwawasan internasional, maka konsekuensi logisnya adalah kemampuan bahasa Inggris siswa-siswa unggulan ini harus melebihi dari yang lainnya. Oleh karena itu, beberapa hal yang kita lakukan untuk meningkatkan kemampuan bahasa Inggris kalian itu adalah misalnya penambahan jam pelajaran bahasa Inggris. Kita juga menyelenggarakan kursus bahasa Inggris Kemudian ada English Corner, ada lagi English Program, kemudian ada berbagai lomba-lomba yang kita lakukan di tingkat sekolah kita yang berkaitan dengan kemampuan kalian di dalam berbahasa Inggris. Anak-anak sekalian yang saya banggakan, kelas 10 unggulan 
memiliki dua program khusus tahunan. Yang pertama adalah English and IT Performance. Yang kedua adalah merencanakan hidup menata masa depan. Kegiatan English and IT Performance ini adalah sebagai media bagi kalian untuk menampilkan kemampuan kalian dalam berbahasa Inggris melalui berbagai lomba yang diselenggarakan oleh panitia diantaranya adalah acoustic, storytelling, news project, video kreatif, speech, video tutorial, desain grafis, dan lain-lain. Kegiatan English and IT Performance tahun ini kita selenggarakan secara online dan kita harapkan orang tua siswa dapat mengikutinya melalui kanal YouTube SMA Plus PGRI Cibinong. Harapan saya kegiatan English and IT Performance ini dapat meningkatkan kemampuan kalian dalam berbahasa Inggris. Saya perlu mengingatkan tiga ciri alumni SMA Plus Pegri Cibinong yang kita harapkan. Yang pertama adalah kemampuan dalam bidang teknologi informasi dan komunikasi TIK. Yang kedua adalah kemampuan dalam bahasa Inggris. Dan yang ketiga dapat membaca Al-Quran dan khotam Al-Quran bagi siswa yang muslim. Terakhir, saya mengharapkan semua kalian mengikuti kegiatan ini dengan sebaik-baiknya agar acara ini dapat berjalan dengan sukses dan membawa kemajuan bagi SMA Plus PGD Cibino. Terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for the amazing speech, sir. Wasn't it so great, Sarah? Yeah, it surely was. Okay, so we're going to move to the first performance, Storytelling, that will perform it by four beautiful ladies. Enjoy the video. <laughs> My name is Yasmin Kirana Fauzia Saputro. My name is Hairunisa Rahma. Who am I? We are from class Tan Social Unggulan 1. We are going to present to you a story called Chiumanara. A long time ago, in West Java, there was a kingdom called Galu Kingdom ruled by King Barma Wijaya Kusuma. He had two wives, Pahachina Ganingrum and Dewi Pangreya. At that time, both of them were pregnant. The king was very happy when Dewi Pangriyap gave birth to a baby boy. The king named him Hariyambama. Several months later, Pahachina Ganingrum also gave birth. But Dewi Pangriyap had an evil plan. She had prepared a baby dog and gave it to Pahachi. Then she put the baby in a box and had it thrown to a river. Helen said, the man who received the order to throw the baby in a river put the baby in a safe box and gave an Your egg. Your Majesty, Pohashi is an evil woman. Last night she gave birth. With her baby is a dog. Dear sinners, God had punished them. Your Majesty, this is a shame for you, the king and the whole kingdom. There is no place here for sinners. They must go to hell. Answer, bring them to the wood and kill them. Yes, Your Majesty, Hang said who had to carry out the order, did not dare to do it. 
he saved Pohachi instead. Then Pohachi lived in a remote village. Meanwhile, in a village next by the river, lived a couple of husband and wife, Aki Balangantran and his wife, Nini Balangantran. They didn't have any children. Day and night, they prayed to God to ask for children. One night, Nini was dreaming that she saw a full moon. My lovely wife, I think we will receive a provision from God. The next morning, Aki went to a river with his net to fish. Suddenly, something caught his attention. In the middle of the river, there was a wooden box floating on the water. Then he grabbed it. What? A baby? Nini, God answered our prayer. Look, it's a cute baby. Oh my God, a mirror school. This is a mirror school. We must give him a name. Um, yeah. Chiwanara, it's a good name. Several years later, Chiwanara grew up to be a handsome and smart boy. The egg had become a cock. Chiu loved cockfighting. He went everywhere to play cockfighting game. His cock was so quick and strong that it won all of his fights. Soon, Chiyong and his cock became famous in Galu Kingdom. Then, the king of Galu, who had many cocks and also loved cockfighting, heard the news. So, he ordered Lancer to find the boy. As Lancer got to Chiyong's house, he was surprised to see the box. He realized that it was the box he threw into a river some years earlier. When he asked Chiyong's father, he was sure that Chiyong was the king's son from Pohachi Naganingro. That time, he wanted to do a good deed for Chiyo. Chiyo, the king invites you to his place for a cook fight. If you win this competition, you can ask everything to the king. Okay, I agree for that. So, let's go to the palace. My honor, if my cock wins, then I want you to give me your kingdom. But if my cock loses, then I will give you my head. Do you agree, my honor? The king agreed because he was sure that his cock would won. Then, in a fierce fight, Chiyong's cock won the fight. Everybody was surprised. The king had no choice. He had to keep his words and give the kingdom to Chiyong Wanara. Langsa told the king that Chiyong was actually his own son from Pohachi Naganingru. He revealed Dewi Pangrayap's evil actions. The king was shocked and very angry. He told his soldiers to arrest and punish Dewi Pangrayap. This event made Prince Haryambanga got very angry. He quickly attacked Chiyongwana. Stop it! For Prince, I will divide my kingdom into two parts. The west of Sifali River for Haryambanga and the eastern part for Chiyungwana. Finally, Chiyungwana met his mother, Pohachi Naganingrum, and lived happily in his kingdom. The storytelling was so splendid and very well told. I'm 100% agree with you. And now uh, we'll see four pretty girls again, but now uh, they will perform a speech performance. The time is yours, girls. The Honorable Principal of SMA Pustwegeri Cibinong, Dr. Haji Basharuddin Vice MPD, or the teachers, parents, and all my beloved fans. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you guys? I'm sure you all in a good health. Before I start, have you guys know me already? There's saying that if you don't know a person, how can you love that person? Therefore, let us introduce ourselves first. So my name is Nisrina Nindya. I'm Raisa Medyandra. Salman Ayla Hakim. I'm Fotonaska. And we are from Sosial Pen Unggulan One. On this occasion, we will convey about how to create a healthy environment. 
A healthy environment is very important. The good or bad quality of our life is depending on the quality of our natural environment. Our need for food, water, shelter, and other things depends on the environment around us. There must be a balanced natural cycle that exists between the environment and the lives of human beings, plants, and animals. In this modern era, everything is polluted, be it sea or air. Humans play an important role in destroying the natural environment which adversely affects life on this planet. And I think humans have realized what they did. So how do we change or keep the environment healthy? But let's talk about how does an unhealthy environment can affect human health force. Our cars and factories pollute the air with clouds of noxious gas. Our chemical concoctions and obviously green lawns contamine and drain the world's water supply. Our trees choke the river and the creatures that live there. Deforestation robs the planet of precious oxygen. Humans need clean air to breathe. We need clean water. We need food, just like every other living thing. The obvious effects of this abuse against the environment shall be fairly easy to go out, but there are different problems at work here as well. The EPA warns that exposure to toxic pollutants in the air and water can increase the risk of cancer, damage the immune, neurological, reproductive, and respiratory system, cause gastrointestinal illness, liver and kidney damage, reproductive difficulties, and more. You may think that all of these problems only affect the individual, but these are generational issues. The after effects of these many maladies can be felt through subsequent generations. And the more we pollute and destroy, the less healthy our future selves will be. We need to find a way together to repair the damage to our environment. Due to all the above human activities, our planet has reached the unsustainable levels. Therefore, it is our duty and responsibility to lower the loss. Every individual can play a significant role in this solution. Consider how you might personally contribute to marine debris, reviews unnecessary single-use items like plastic straws or cutlery when possible, reuse items when you can, and choose reusable items over disposable ones, and recycle as much as possible such as bottles, cell phones, ink cartridge, and many other items that can be recycled. We should take a pledge to say no to plastics. Instead of it, we may make use of eco-friendly substitutes like paper, cloth bags, and so on. There are many ways. Here are a few easy and effective ways you can choose to reduce your daily impact and make a world of difference. First, bring a bag. Remember to bring reusable bags to the grocery store or for any other shopping activities to reduce consumption of disposable bags. Second, Bring your own reusable cup. Think about how many disposable cups are used every day in just your local coffee shop. Bringing a mug for your morning coffee can reduce the amount of waste you produce annually. Imagine how much waste we could reduce if we all made this simple daily change. Third, avoid products with microbes. Facial scrubs and beauty products containing plastic microbes were banned in the United States in 2015, but won't be fully phased out until 2019. Read the labels when purchasing products and opt for ones that containing natural scrubbing ingredients like salt or sugar. Number four, make sure your waste goes to the right place. Do your best to ensure that the waste you dispose of ends up where it should. Recycle the materials that are recyclable in your area and make sure to reduce your, the likelihood of your garbage ending up in the environment by keeping a lid on your trash can when it's outside. And last but not least, number five is compost. Composting at home reduces the volume of garbage sent to landfills and reduce the chance of some products becoming marine debris. By doing our part to work toward a sustainable and debris-free planet, We'll also be providing others with inspiration and a good example to follow. As individuals, we have the potential to make a big difference and together we can change the world. So then let our environment be polluted continuously. Remember that a healthy environment is essential for our viability. Bring a reusable bag wherever you go. 
Bring your own reusable cup. Avoid product with microbeads. Make sure your trash goes to the right place. Reduce the volume of waste by composting. These are some examples that we can apply to keep our environment healthy. In addition, of course, there are other ways to make our environment healthier. So let's apply some of the ways we've delivered to make our environment healthier. Don't forget that what we treated the environment now will have an impact on the next generation. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Oh my God, the speech was filled with so many important messages. Totally agree with you. So you should take care of your health, friends. And without any further ado, we're going to move to the next performance. Welcome, News Project. <laughs> Good afternoon, people. I'm Hanifa Ramadan. And I am Rendeman Haris. Welcome to Pesat, Pesat News. News. Today, two of us gonna give today's news. Now, 10 March 2022, we're found out there are many homeless or busker are asking for money at a traffic light. So today, we will ask to our reporter to talk to people there about what they think about homeless or busker there. Also, we're gonna ask why they do some job like this. The next news will be guided by Davina as a reporter. Hello people here Davina on the street. So what you have seen before, there are so many homeless, also busker here. So I'm I'm gonna interview someone who works here. Hi there, what's your name? My name is Nangfal. What are you doing here? I'm here for make a living by singing or playing some musical instrument. Wow, isn't that an ability that not just anyone can do? So why don't you just look for more decent job like go to audition to be a singer or anything? Hmm, it's kind of hard. Actually, because I don't have any parents left and I also have, uh, I have a brother who is still in junior high school and I need to pay his school payment. Not just that, I also have an elementary school certificate that makes me hard to get a decent job. That's why the only way for me to make a living is by busking in the street to make money fast for me. Wow, I'm sorry. I didn't know you have such a sad story behind this. And also, thank you so much for your interview. And I think it might help. So, thank you so much. So, I already have a statement. Also, the story from the buskers. Thank you so much. And back to the studio. Street performers, or commonly called buskers, are a group of people or individuals who perform in a public place, either by singing, dancing, or playing musical instruments to earn money. Generally, buskers are played by teenagers who have dropped out of school, but now there are many parents and also children who become buskers because of economic factors. Buskers often operate at traffic lights, terminals, on buses, in front of shops, markets, tourist attractions, and so on. Their appearance also varies, starting from the usual look, clowns, punk kids, or wearing sexy clothes. This phenomenon often worries the government, because the high unemployment rate and the small number of decent jobs in Indonesia are also the reasons for some buskers. Their presence often has a negative connotation because it disturbs order. Here back again with us, after we found out why there are so many buskers or homeless there. Most of them are because of family problems, which make them suddenly become head of their family. Or some of them also because they don't qualify to get more decent job, that's why they choose this job. Now we need more statement about people who have job like that. Yeah, back again with me here, I'm already with someone here for interview. What is your name? Uh, I'm Rosina. Can I ask you some question? What do you think about that people who work here by begging begging for money or playing music there? Such a tough question. Um, first, when I see the buskers, they always their ability to work here when there are bad jobs out there. But I can say that thing easy because I know what their big story. 
Yeah, that's right. But what do you th- what do you think for the right way to solve this problem? For a problem like this, government must quickly overcome it. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, f- first, government can create a wide range of jobs or they also can help by providing assistance and subsidies to the poor for their basic needs. Okay, I agree with that. So the first government we must, must take this seriously. Okay, thank you so much, Rosiana. Okay, now back to the studio. So the point is government should overcome and fix this problem. Right, they should take this problem seriously if they want to make Indonesia better. We as Indonesians want to them to get the help they deserve. That's the brackets about today's news. I'm Hanifa Ramadan along with my partner Raindri Man Harris and the crew in charge of thanking you for your attention. Have a good day. See, See you soon. I'm so speechless. It was too good to be true. Well, talking about homeless and street buskers, I want to know what do you think about them, Sarah? There are so many of them in Indonesia and seeing them on the street never makes me not miserable. About the street buskers, I know they are so talented. Okay, so we will move to the next performance, which is to... I think it's a real performance. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, we are the ICT team from class 10 Social Lunggulan 1. We will explain the tutorial on how to editing photo with Lightroom. Before that, let me introduce myself first. My name is Safira Azahra and my two friends Talita Azmi and Habibana Bilkisti. Before entering the tutorial, I will explain what photo editing is and what Lightroom application is. Photo edi- editing is process of converting digital images. Both images derived from digital photos or other digital images. This editing is usually done with a computer program called an image editor to modify and beautify the image. Second, Adobe Lightroom is definitely one of the best photo editors on mobile. Comes with lots of great features that allow you to easily create photos to turn them into unique products. The menu in Lightroom, there is healing, cropping, selective menu, adjust coloring, effect, and etc. Lightroom have an advantage. The first one is supports raw file format, complete tool facilities, provide cloud storage, photography support features, and etc. So now let's see to the tutorial. The first step is to add your photos. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see pen co- a pen containing several other panels. And at the top of this, you should see the add photo button. You can click the add photo button, and after that, choose your photos from your, fo- from your folder. First step is to crop your image while holding your mouse down on the corner of the image. Drag it to resize. Click and drag as needed. After cropping your image, the next step is healing your photos. With the healing brush, you can easily remove small background distractions. The healing brush tool in Adobe Lightroom Let's you quickly retouch small spots and minor distractions. Simply click on a spot and Lightroom will automatically choose an area nearby to use as resource for the healing sp- the spot. If you don't like the results, you can set a different source spot by, by moving it to another location. Tone has an auto filter which will correct the color tone that it thinks is the best and fits perfectly in your photo automatically. For example, highlight shadows white and blacks if previously contrast will adjust the over- overall dark light part of the photo. The highlight shadows white and blacks filter will set it specifically. After editing your photo, 
You can save your photo on the left screen. There is a file button. You can click the file button and there is export button. You can click and choose where you want to save it and you are done. And yeah, this is the result. <laughs>
Zodai is an application developer to help relevant government guesses and conducting tracking to stop the spread of coronavirus disease. I'm sorry, but I don't really understand anything about that. And anyways, what exactly is Peduli Lindungi? It's okay, I'll show you how to input your vaccinations data to Peduli Lindungi. First, you need to install the Peduli Lindungi app. After that, you must input your full name, phone number, email, national identity number, and then confirmation for your real identity. And down your status on Prolinumi is already vaccinated. And if you want to enter some public places, you just need to scan the barcode that already prepared for access to public places. Just like that. It's easy as you hear, right? You don't have to worry because your data wouldn't be leaked because the data is input to the government. You're really good at how you explained it. I understand it really fast. Thank you, girls. Our pleasure, Dad. But for the pay, let's go eat to our family favorite restaurant. Please. And you can practice how to scan the barcode. Hehe. <laughs> that is a really great idea. Indeed. What a nice idea ever. <sighs> I should have noticed that you guys would be asking for something after you explained it. But okay. Go get ready and let's go. Don't forget to tell your mom. Woohoo! Thank you, Dad! And here we are. The end of the video. Thank you for staying and enjoyed our video. But little reminder for you guys for keep safe with complied health protocol. Don't ignore or don't care about the health protocol because you are more important than anything. Have a nice day and nice life. See you when I see you. <laughs>
Although it may so seem self-evident, we cannot have a free and equal society unless everyone is free and equal. This inequality will continue to be an issue for everyone until women have the same right as men. When it occurs, the world will definitely be a better place for all human beings. What are some of the ways in which women's rights are violated? Any unwanted sexual behavior is referred to as sexual harassment. Physical conduct and advances, soliciting or demanding sexual favors, or using appropriate sexual language are all examples of this. When someone is physically sexually abused, this is known as sexual violence. Despite the fact that men can be victims of sexual assault, women are the ones who are most likely to be victims. Women are frequently discriminated against in the workplace because of their gender. Examining the gender pay gap is one approach to illustrate this. Equal compensation for equal work is a human right but women are denied access to a fair and equal income on a regular basis. According to recent statistics, women today earn around 77% of what males do for the same job. Women face a lifetime of financial inequity as a result of this, which hinders them from fully expressing their freedom and puts them at danger of poverty later in life. Now, how can we increase women's rights in a simple way? Number one, raise your voice. Number two, support one another. Number three, share the workload. Number four, get involved. And last but not least is educate the next generations. And that brings us to the end. By all this, we have share be beneficial for all of us. Thank you very much for your great attention, ladies and gentlemen. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. They brought such a really great topic. Indeed, and I think women and men are equal though. So we're going to the next performance, which is the last performance, singing performance. Enjoy the video. <laughs> There's a chance in me They all say I'm not the same Kid I used to be Don't go out and play I just dream all day They don't know what's wrong with me And I'm too shy to say Is it my When I go to bed, when I lay my head upon my pillow, don't know what to do. My first love tells that I'm too young, he doesn't live now. Wish that I could show him what I'm feeling, cause I'm feeling my first love. Mirror on the wall. Does he care at all? Will he ever notice me? Could he ever fall? Daddy, daddy, where? My love is so unfair Will he ever find a way An answer to my for my first love, what I'm dreaming of When I go to bed, when I lay my head upon my pillow
My first love says that I'm too young He doesn't even know Wish that I could tell him what I'm feeling Cause I'm feeling my first love Their voice was so good. I feel like they have a golden voice though. Wait, oh no, we're at the end of the show already. I'm so sad. Oh, really? Oh my God, I, I can't believe it. It feels so fast. I know, right? Well, finally we come to the end of this event and we are really sorry if there was any mistakes that we made. Well, to close this, to close this event, let's, Let's reciting Hamdala. Alhamdulillah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your nice attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.